Some of you have already watched the videos in my channel about how I made my jigsaw table and the guide to keep the blade vertical. But with this guide I cannot make long straight cuts, because I would bump in the base of this guide. So in this video I will try to put the guide in one side, to have all the room I need behind the blade to make long straight cuts. My intention is to keep the guide in such a way that I can screw it in this position or in this position, depending on what I need. So I want to put the guide here. And I have to put the bearings there. And I need to put something there to put the guide on it. So I will put that block there. This piece of plywood is the same thick as the plywood top of my jigsaw table and I want to cut it with the same dimensions of the guide base. I want to put the guide as much to one side as I can. I put the top of the guide against the back of the blade. And with the help of the square, I able to put it at 90 degrees with the edge of the plywood board. And I mark the position. I center the wooden block in the marks. And I make a mark, so I can put it again in the same position. I was going to use a couple of dowels to hold the block. With one screw there. But finally I decided to put a couple of screws under the block. And another one there. Then I put my jigsaw table sideways. And I put the wooden block in its place. I clamp it with two clamps. And I screw it in the bottom. And I also screw it in the top, making sure that the screw head doesn't protrude the plywood surface. Well, I think it is very solid. Now I put the piece of plywood on the block and against the jigsaw table top. And I screw it. Making sure that the screws don't protrude the plywood surface. Like that I have a good base to put the guide with the bearings on it. I know I have more bearings somewhere, but because I cannot find them, I will use these bearings. I measure the distance between the screws holes. Now I will drill a guide hole, as near the end as I can. I measure the distance I need between the guide holes, and I mark the position where to drill the second guide hole. And I drill it. And I screw both bearings. But there isn't enough space between the bearings. So I will drill another guide hole to separate them. And now I can put the blade between the bearings. I move the guide that way, until the blade is perfectly vertical. I clamp the guide. And I screw it. I will use this strip as a fence. But now I realize that I cannot clamp the strip in the front of the plywood top. But I can move it some centimeters towards the front of the jigsaw table. So I unscrew the plywood top. And I also need to unscrew the bottom of the wooden block. Now the plywood bar is free. And I can move it towards the front. I try to center it. I push the wooden block against the table structure. 
and I screw the plywood top. And I also screw the wooden block. I clamp the jigsaw table to my workbench. I put the fence on the plywood top. The blade is at 90 degrees with the front of the plywood board. So I put the fence at 90 degrees with the front of the plywood board. And I clamp it. Now finally I can check how this works. First I will cut this piece of plywood. And it cuts the plywood without problems. And the cut is straight and nice. Now I will cut some pine. And already when I begin to cut, I can feel how much effort the jigsaw needs to make that rip cut. And to cut that pine board I needed 3 minutes. I get a straight cut, but the surface is ugly. And the cut isn't perfectly vertical. I think I should reduce the separation between the buildings. But anyway I should plane that edge in my homemade thickness planer to get a nice surface there. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.